Welcome guys, Tejas here from Future Automation and today we are going to start with the actual series of automating our operating system using Python. But before getting deeper into the automating part, we are going to get started with the Python for a while. So the fir first two videos in this series will be how to use Python. In first video, I will give you some a brief introduction about Python, what is Python? why we are using python why python is so popular language and for whom python is basically designed so starting with why we are using python python is a very high level programming language and it is totally based upon a old language which is called abc so it is fast it is interactive and mainly it is multi paradigm so uh, for whom python is designed the python is designed in two parts for two part people the first one is for the newcomers who are job seekers who are interested but never entered in the programming part and the other one who are knowing some basics but they want to learn the skills of the python and the second is for the major developers the developers are the one who takes the language to a different level by designing different softwares so what exactly is python so python is a general purpose uh, which is also called as a not specific to a particular part high level programming language now it is as it is high level programming language instead of compilation interpretation takes place and it is checked line by line as i told that python is multi paradigm the three paradigm style or the three paradigms of the python are procedural functional and object oriented approach now python is free and anyone can use it and develop applications or the software now python is having one more feature that it is scripting as well as the programming both so we can use it as we wish now why we are using python in real world now python is one of the rapid developing language and it's small code makes it most powerful for example if you are developing an application of thousand lines of code in java or c++ the same application can be developed in python in very minimum amount of line so both python and java are portable languages and can be used anywhere by coding anywhere now python is having lot of libraries so it makes us easy for programming and using the predefined libraries now let's talking let's go for the downloading part of the python so to download python first we need to go to google or you can go directly to python.org but i am going to tell you step by step so that the newcomer won't get any confused so type the keywords python download then you will be redirected to the search part where the first link is itself of the python.org so in python.org you will basically find two versions of python one is 3.6 and another is 2.7 so we are going to go with the 2.7 2.7 version because the one of the important library which we are going to be using in the next series of tutorials is the serial library now i'm not going to get deeper into that part but just for information it is used for serial communication between boards like Arduino or VMOS or Node MCU. So you can use Python to fetch the data for that. Now let's go further. So first download the Python 2.7.13 version and then actually I have downloaded it before only. So after downloading it, you can just double click on it and install as per the instructions. It is very much easy to install the uh, Python 2.7.13. Or if you are going for 3.6.2 so for the link of the python download you can check the description below now let's go back to the installation part now once you installed the pythons you will get an folder in the start menu which will show you python 2.7 now you can go in the drop down and you can check there are many more options like python manual python uninstallation part python command line module doc and ide idle so the ide which we are going to use for programming the python is idle which is developed using python itself by using the gui library called kinter it is an inbuilt library of python which you can import 
whenever you need to program or design a GUI. Now, getting started with idle. So this is the idle, my friends, and it shows you the version of Python which you are using, the date time as every programming language starts its first program as hello world we are also going to start our first program with typing hello world so to print any statement directly the syntax for python is as simple as print in double quotes we will type hello sorry world so now this thing is done so you can see that python is very simple to use and anyone can learn it from basics so let's save the file by name hello and then we can run it so see here the ideal has displayed the python programs output that is hello world so if you want to make any program like this you can do it but the main feature of python for basic programming is that which makes it more powerful is you don't need to declare any data type any uh, specify any data type for declaring the vari variable for example let's make another program which is addition of two numbers so i will just declare here where one is equal to 36 and where two is equal to 25 so here based on your input the python itself decides what is the data type of the variable and if and specifies it or what we can say gives it to that variable now if you want to print the output of this addition then you can simply write print var1 plus var2 var or you can declare another variable var3 is equal to var1 plus var2 var2 or oh my god what the hell is going on yeah var2 <coughs> and then just print var3 so these both methods will work out now you will see here this see so in both the cases the python ideal has displayed 6161 as the output so Python is basically based on how the programmer wants to what we can say deploy the program or design the program in both the ways you can get the same answer but it depends on you how you want now these two lines have increased the number of lines of codes and the single print statement has shaved us two lines extra by of declaring a variable and then printing it out so python is this easy and now we are going to go further but this uh, let's make another program which will take input as a string and then displace the string or displace two string combining together so we will declare a variable str1 is equal to this is future automation and then we will be declare another string we will declaring another string which is str2 and it will say that we are automating automating our os so let's just combine it now to combine two strings every programming language has some methods or has some functions for the procedure to complete but in python this procedure is completed as simple as we can just use a predefined operator of addition to concatenate these two things now using this operator we have concatenated both the strings and we wish we will get the output this is future automation we are automating our os so let's print it out uh, three now we will save the program and run it so this is future automation and we are automating our os so python is very much easy but we cannot conclude our series or today's video in just one 
one video today's python getting started with python because programming part of the python has many factors which should be taken into consideration for a better programming and understanding of the series so it is including the concepts of indentation which is one of the most important rule in python without indentation you cannot define any block because python doesn't use any curly brackets for defining the blocks so we are going to see these details in next video so check out the next video and do subscribe for my channel for many more such tricks and tips and don't forget to share the video for further information about python do check the descriptions so see you guys in next video